it is obviously such a cool thing that Bronny and LeBron are playing next to each other. They made their debut together last night. Like, it's cool. Uh, rarely has it ever happened in sports. It's never happened in the NBA of father and son playing together. Now, the, the sad reality is... And, what, and and I hate to say this, but it, it does kind of take away from some of the moment. Is is Bronny's bad, man? Like Bronny, Bronny's not good at all. Like there's there's just no world where he belongs in the NBA. And, and I'm I, two two games into the season, one point in the preseason, one point, fourteen percent from three, two and a half turnovers. Squiggly, twenty two months. It's cool, but I I don't care at all. It's 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 cool for LeBron. It's cool. It's just a cool thing. Right? Just imagine that. Like it's gonna it's gonna be cool inevitably. They're gonna spam this so much. It's gonna be cool when Bronny throws LeBron a lob. Right? But it does it does take away that Bronny is just fucking bad dude he's bad he looks bad in preseason he has some moments defensively but not nearly enough to make up for how bad he is on defense or on offense turnover machine right there the size doesn't really feel like he knows where he's supposed to be on the court the feel isn't what i I sort of hoped and i think what a lot of us hoped it would be What was it last night? Four travels? Or four turnovers? Yeah, I mean, that's a travel. The moment LeBron hangs it up, I imagine Bronny is out the door with him. Oh, he's going to play. He, he's going to play in the G League, I, I would assume, for most of the season. They'll have him up, and they'll... Uh, a legal screen right there. There goes LeBron. <laughs> Talk to Bronny. Like, they'll have him up for blowouts and stuff. Like, it'll be, it'll be a thing that gets talked about. But... You know, what What made, like, Ken Griffey Jr. and Ken, Giff- Ken Griffey Sr. so good and cool was Ken Griffey Sr. was good, and obviously Ken Griffey Jr. was uh, an all-time prospect. Bad foul in transition right there. Not, not really his fault, but you just can't take that foul. If you're going to foul, it's got to be better. It's got to be a real foul. Do you think Bronny looks over Bron's shoulder to make sure he isn't on the trade machine? There's no world in which Bronny is going to get traded. Don't think that he don't think he'll have like a lot of trade value one and two just the uh the, the shit storm that that would cause. He does have some instincts defensively. Like his hands are okay. But there's just not He's a little nervous, but some shots he could make. He's definitely nervous. He's yet to make a field goal. He's got, or has he made a field goal? One point per game. Did not score last night. 14% from the field, as I mentioned. 0% from three. Two and a half turnovers per game. LeBron and Savannah might need to make a new build. All right, just ignore that. That's the hate. That's hate central. So just ignore that that comment. And I don't know. Is this going to be a distraction? I, I really hate that I'm even get going here because this is such a, a fucking ESPN talking point. But you guys know that I have been pretty high on the Lakers this offseason. Uh, LeBron looked incredible yesterday. 19 points, 8 of 12. We know who LeBron is. Had an uh, insane chase down block on Devin Booker. Like, he's looked really good. Uh, he looked really good yesterday. Obviously, he looked great in the, the Olympics. Uh, Anthony Davis was amazing yesterday. We know who those two are. They dominated their minutes together, even though, um, you know, Nurkic didn't play for the Suns. But they pretty much had their guys out there.
yes, the the lack of bigs behind AD is definitely a bit of a a concern. They're they're I mean they're relying pretty heavily on Christian Wood. I you guys know that that's not we know firsthand that's not a uh, a strategy that has been conducted to success for the entirety of. The entirety of his career. But I still think just the upside of LeBron and AD. And look, I saw somebody tweet this out and they got shitted on in in the ratios that, you know, the Mavericks made the NBA finals last year. The Lakers only finished three games worse than them in the regular season. They did win 47 games last year. Obviously, the Mavericks, it's it's kind of a stupid comparison because the Mavericks second half of the season were one of the best teams in the league. And, um, you know, their record doesn't necessarily indicate who they were all season long. But I don't know. I, I, I do like this roster. But if this is going to be a circus-related thing where, hey, man, um, we're going we're gonna to let Bronny go out there and do a couple things. Like, it's going to be fun to watch Bronny out there. Like, that's, like, that's bad. Okay. This post implying that Savannah ruined Bron Jr. No, that's just, that's just hater central. Like, just ignore. Just ignore it. Okay. Just ignore that tweet. We'll see. I mean, only getting uh, 13 games in a preseason game, 13 minutes in a preseason game, four turnovers. Yeesh. Jared Vanderbilt coming back from injury is just like a free agent. You know, you you say that in a joking manner, but um, he'll be big for them. I mean, he'll be important for them. I've seen some clips of some of the sets and stuff that uh, JJ Reddick's running very ironically enough because of the, uh, because of those coaching rumors. Rob Palenka should have watched slightly bias and went for Jonas. I thought that was an easy slam dunk. I thought for sure they were going to get a, uh, a center in free agency to back him up. Yes, but him using Dan Hurley plays is funny because of the <laughs> the Dan Hurley rumors in the offseason that he was going to go to the Lakers. I'm I'm giving JJ Redick a chance. Like I'm not ready to write that off like a lot of people are. I think there's a world where he's a really really smart basketball coach. We know that LeBron has a respect for him because of their their podcast together and stuff like that. What what a time that we live in by the way. 2024 fucking sucks. Like just listen to what we're saying. Yeah, they had a podcast together. Like they clearly like each other. Everybody has a podcast. Every player has a podcast now, which I'm in support of, by the way. But it's just a hilarious, a hilarious sentence. See, like JJ Redick to me has that sicko basketball mind that I think you need to be a really, really good head coach. I don't know if he has that. Just we'll see. The Joe Mazzulla level of just I'm so fucking locked in. All I care about is basketball, but. Just like what Joe Mazzulla takes from other coaches. Think of like Ime Odoka as well. I'm thinking like some of the younger coaches. This is why I'm saying this. Jamal Mosley. I think he's got that upside as a coach. He doesn't seem like super stuck in his own ways. It's my way or the highway type of thing. Kill a kid. Yeah. I'm, I'm able to adjust on the fly. And we're going to try to implement things that implement things that that works for our roster. Didn't the Lakers trade Mike Conley and Nikhil Alexander Walker for D'Lo? Uh, I mean, it was a three-team trade. They didn't necessarily trade Mike Conley. I don't know if they could have gotten Mike Conley. Obviously, that would have been nice for them, but. Do you think Kidd is a top five coach in the NBA? Well, let's see. Uh, J.J. Redick, number one, obviously. No, uh, Spolstra. Just, I honestly, God, think after Spolstra, who cares? Like, I, I feel like Spolstra is so head and shoulders better than any other coach in the league. I don't know. I'm rooting for Bronny James. You guys know. I, I think LeBron's the GOAT. I'm not here to, make, to argue it. I'm not here, you know, don't fucking leave a comment. I'm not here to talk about it. I think LeBron is the GOAT. 
Why do I think that? He's the best player I've ever seen with my own two eyes. I wasn't alive to see Michael Jordan. Before you guys get off your, your unk jokes, I wasn't alive to see Michael Jordan. Actually, I wasn't uh, cognitive. I wasn't aware of what was happening around me to fully understand what was going on with Michael Jordan, okay? So that's why. That's why I say LeBron's the GOAT. So for me, it's cool. It's cool that he's playing with his son. I, I just don't. From what we've seen in summer league, from what we saw in college, in what we've seen so far in preseason, granted it's been two games. Um, <sighs> just doesn't look like an NBA player at all. I mean, we just have to call it like it is. And it's not, it's not even like, oh, he's got some flashes here and there. He needs some G League seasoning. Like he doesn't look like an NBA guy ever. <laughs> 